welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I look like an egg. I literally have this on right now. It's the TLC Sukari Baby Facial Junk Elephant and it has AHA 25% and BHA 2% in it. Meant to be very good for your skin and you're meant to use it once a week only. Never tried it before. My sister got this like huge drunk elephant package and this was in it so I just wanted to try it out to see what it's like. I'm obsessed with trying out new skincare right now. The Dr. Sebar Night um, Retinol Serum. I think it's a Night Retinol Serum. The Night Serum and the LMS um, Collagen Night Cream is my holy grail. I'll show that to you guys afterwards when I'm getting ready to go to bed. But that is where I look like this. I've come out of the shower. I just got back from the gym. Tonight I'm just due to stay at home because I have so much to do. It's already almost 10 o'clock at, or it is like 10, I think it's 10.30 or almost 11 o'clock at night. And I have, haven't even managed to finish doing all the things that I need to do. But anyway, here we are now doing a little facial whilst I was tidying up my room. I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've been buying recently because I feel like I've been doing a lot more like thoughtful shopping. Like, yeah, before I used to buy a lot of things, but I don't think I used to think about it as much. Whereas now I think I think more before each purchase to see if I really need something or really want something before I do it. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this. It's the Diary by Steven. Um, this was actually a gift from my sister Soul. So I am obsessed with listening to the Diary of a CEO. I think I got into it about a year and a half ago. I would say probably like a month or two before Molly May went on it and had that interview that went viral. Um, but if you guys don't know what it is, it's actually an incredible podcast by a young man, a young English man called Stephen, where he discusses like absolutely everything with some of the most um, successful and renowned people in their field. And it's a way of you trying to take tips um, from someone and also understand why they might be the way they are in order to try and figure out why you might be programmed the way you are and might think the way that you do and basically try and better yourself. I love it. He uploads twice a week. Um, it used to be once a week, but he's changed that now. And I would say my favorite podcast that he's ever done is with a gentleman called Mo Galjat. And he is the uh, one million happy man. He's really, really good. And that was my favorite podcast, like genuinely that combo had me inspired and woke on another level. So I love his podcast, I love Stephen's podcast. So Sol gifted me with his diary when he announced that he was making one in um, his podcast. And I just started it today. It's actually Friday the 13th, lol. Um, but I, I would have started it at the new year because that was when I got this but I had my exam and I was more focused on doing well in my exam than I was like afterwards I can kickstart everything that needs a bit more time and dedication. So that's why I filled this out now. And it's really cool, it's basically interactive. You fill out the diary in regards to four aspects of your life. So it is your health, your relationships, your work and your finances. And it's really, good to just have a think and reflect on what you're happy about, what you want to improve, what you're grateful for and every week he'll like ask you to rate out of 10 like what level you're at um, with what you're happy with and what you're not happy with and depending on that there's an app that will or like a website that will give you guidance from some experts on how to improve that aspect of your life so it's very very cool. I haven't finished a week yet because I just started today so I can't give you feedback on the interactive aspect of it but in general the diary itself is very very nice so you um, like rate your day and you say how you're feeling and check in with yourself and then you do like an end of the week check-in. End of the week evaluation is here underneath my hand is a QR code I think obviously if I move my hand then you guys will get access to my account which I don't want anyone to see my diary lol so I've covered it up but yeah you scan the QR code and you go on the app and yeah, the next things I got myself are quite more like investment-y and it's to do with my social media. So I was due like my iPhone upgrade. Um, some of you don't know, but this, this is my old iPhone. It was the 12 
Pro Max and I actually got mugged in Soho um, like a year ago and so I didn't have blue I think I had like a black iPhone and then the insurance replaced it with this blue one which works perfectly well it's still working now but I would say surprisingly not it's gotten a bit slower um, and I was doing my upgrade anyway so I got the new 14 Pro Max I got the Pro Max because as a content creator I obviously need good camera quality otherwise to be honest I'm not even sure I would have paid for an upgrade because I think that my 12 Pro Max is good and even now like when I look at my camera quality I don't particularly see like a huge difference so like I filmed this reels with my new camera and then I filmed this one with my old camera and to be honest I can't really tell the difference with the quality so for me, I just paid like, I think it was £150 for the phone or £180 for the phone. And then my monthly bill actually got cheaper um, because I switched networks. So it didn't work out too bad for me. Um, the £180 was better and £20 off my phone bill every month was also better for the exact same service that I was getting. So yeah, don't feel like if you don't get the newest iPhone that you're missing out. Um, it's... I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure it's worth the hype. Going along with the theme of tech, um, I actually got a new camera, which is what I'm filming on now. It's the Sony ZV-E10. My mum got it for me for Christmas. She was my secret Santa and she was very generous with my gift. So love you, mum, thank you. Um, and I've been editing on my MacBook Air, which was my first laptop that I ever bought myself. I think it was my first laptop that I ever bought myself. I don't know if I'd bought myself another one when I was younger or if I just used to only use my family like laptop but I'm pretty sure this is that was my first laptop I ever bought myself and I was like 19 and now I'm 26 gonna be 27 soon so that laptop lasted me seven years but the thing is it's really hard for me to upload um good quality videos using the old macbook and it's just really slow so I got myself the new macbook air would you guys believe I bought this 14 days ago and I haven't even had the chance to open it up and see what it is like um so I'm gonna unbox it here with you guys I'm actually so excited um to have a new laptop because I want to make better quality and more regular content for you guys. I, I don't know why I thought making content I'd have more time as a doctor than I did as a medical student and I'm going to be honest with you guys it's really not like that. I think when you're a doctor the responsibility of being a doctor at, when you're at work probably makes your mind work harder so that you're more exhausted when you come home so yeah, that's, I think that's why I've not been able to make the same amount of content that I used to make when I was in med school, but I've actually tried to figure it out a better way, so hopefully more content and better quality coming for you guys. This is the MacBook 13.6 inch MacBook Air with Apple M2 chip. Just to let you guys know, if any of you want to ever do like social media or something like that, you don't need a MacBook to edit, you don't need something really fancy, you just need like your phone. You can start off with your phone and then get going after that. I think when I started YouTube, the first thing I did was just the plunge. Just do it and then you can worry about perfecting it later, um, which is... And it's always going to be a work in progress. Anyway, oh my god, I don't want this to fall. Voila! So we've got a charger cable and... Oh, you must be joking. Is there no plug with this? Oh, there is a plug. I would have been fuming because you know how the iPhones don't come with a plug. I don't know, like, we all know Apple that you've just tried to up your profits rather than help the world be sustainable because what am I plugging it into? Not every house has USBs in the wall, you know? We're not all very tech savvy like Steve Jobs' house. Anyway, here is the laptop. I'm Persian, so it's gold. <laughs> no, I just wanted, wanted it to kind of match my phone and yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I just love gold. Um, even for jewellery, I'm more gold than silver. Why does this look... This doesn't look gold. Is it me or does it look silver? 
I mean, maybe this is just as gold as it gets. Maybe I'm being a bit colorblind. I can't tell, but guys, this looks silver to me. Anyone else think that? Does it have color on the box? That's such an anti-climax. It looked so much more gold in the shop. Anyway, maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. Ooh, hello. Bonjour. Let's just leave this on the bed to load. I hate this bit of like setting up a laptop. It's actually a mess. But um, it's very pretty. And there's like a camera on the front. And I need to set it up. I'll let you guys know how I get along with this, but I'm sure it's gonna be better than my old MacBook, which is all I care about. Last thing I got is actually the new AirPod Maxes. It was again a big thing that I really had to think about because they're so expensive. They're like 550 pounds for headphones. Um, but my problem is that the AirPod Pros fall out of my ear when I'm running and I've had an AirPod drop into a Stairmaster and break the Stairmaster at my gym before. So not cute and quite embarrassing. So I want headphones that I can run with because I do run at least like 15 minutes a day when I go to the gym to warm up and my gym experience overall would be better if I had good headphones. So I will keep you guys updated when it arrives um, to let you know if I think it's worth the money. Let me spend it and if it's bad, let me take the fall for you guys. Um, and if it's good, then I can at least give you guys a good review. But that's everything that I've really splurged on. To be fair, everything has been hopefully in something that is useful and will improve my quality of work, so. I just thought I'd quickly show you guys my nighttime um, routine. So I go in with the Retinol Night Repair by Dr. Seba. I absolutely love this. This is incredible. Like I feel like my skin has not looked this good in ages and where I usually would break out around like my period, I have not had that. Since using this, like I've had like maybe a tiny spot coming up to at the time of my period. But other than that, not really. And it's just so incredible. I can't even begin to tell you guys. Also, all of my skincare is literally stolen from Sol. Sol has the most incredible skincare. Next is the Elemis Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. This smells so good. Like I, I don't, even, I can't put my finger on what it smells of, but it just smells so nice. But like in a gentle way. My sister, Sina, uses La Mer and I can just tell before even applying it that that scent is going to irritate my eczema because it's just so strong. Whereas this just has a very gentle fragrance to it and it's not overpowering in the cream so it doesn't have negative effects that I can feel on my skin and I just love it so much. It's very, very, very moisturising and not in a heavy way, you know like the Wally just skin food is very moisturising in a heavy way if you guys don't know what that is, it is this green cream this is a very good um, affordable cream especially for winter that's very thick but the cream that I just showed you is very nice and gentle on your skin but also moisturises it then I've got the Auto Correct by Sunday Riley and this I just put under my eyes I used to use this applicator, but I found that I end up needing to just dab it with my fingers a bit first at least, and then I can use the applicator to rub it in if I need to, but this is just for under eyes and around the eyes. It's meant to brighten. I don't know if I'm seeing that, but I just would rather have something that's a bit more protective. And then on my lips, the Laneige lip sleeping mask i think i bought this four months ago and it has lasted so well for me it is so nice i just 
lather my lips in it at night time and the daytime I put it on first before anything else. Then for my hair, I'm not usually someone who puts anything into their hair. So this is the Miracle Oil by Wild Source. Literally just put the tiniest amount into my hand and then I rub that into my hair. This again smells so lovely. Oh shoot, I'm like putting water on my hair onto my new MacBook box. And then lastly, I grab the Davines Oi Oil. Um, this is an absolute beautifying potion for hair. And it looks like that. And again, I just took one squeeze because you don't want your hair to get greasy after you wash it. And I mainly focus it into the ends because you want to have healthy ends, you know what I mean? The root of your hair has come out from like the fresh, it's the freshest hair that you have, it's the newest hair, whereas the ends of your hair, it takes a lot of time for your nutrients and your oils to get down there. So I try and focus it lower down. Okay, this is my skin and this camera definitely blurs a bit because I do have more pores than it's showing you. Let me try and come closer. Yeah, it's still blurring me guys. So don't, don't take this for face value. My skin has more pores than you see in this camera. Wait, let me pause this so we don't get demonetized hair. Talk us through what you're doing for the week. Oh. On Monday, I've got a breathing session in the evening. So I've got work during the day, breathing at night, gym with my friend. On Tuesday, and then at some point I've got a pack. On Tuesday... Can you I'm... please explain what this breathing session is? Be quiet. No, explain it, please. So it's basically, it helps to... It's kind of like counselling and just getting together with your thoughts and it provides clarity, you know? And it just You're really overselling you, it, aren't you? allows you to relax. How much is it? £50 a session. Over, over FaceTime? Yeah. And what do you do? Breathe. You pay £50 to, to breathe over FaceTime. <laughs> Guys. I think I've found my new profession. According you, to- I'm sorry, do you know that Stephen Barlett's girlfriend is a breathing facilitator? I just want to say that I probably sound, I, we sound obsessed with Stephen Bartlett because I started this vlog saying about how you bought me his diary, yeah. which I love. So maybe we are a bit obsessed with Stephen as well. 100%. Yeah, we're obsessed with Stephen. Sorry, Apparently Saul's breathing coach is obsessed with yeah, Stephen. To the point that she had to apologize to her husband. <laughs> She's okay. So cute. Okay, carry on. Okay, so, then... so Monday breathing, Tuesday work, then go to Liverpool for my masters. Come back on Thursday, half a day of work on Friday, and then sorry. Friday evening I go to Poland. Well, sorry the camera's shaking. I was switching hands, but you're going to Poland, Warsaw. Yeah. I'm going to. And then Krakow next week you're working a to... normal week, and then the week after we're going away. There you go. Except your vlog camera is so cool. It was very, very cool. You know what else is cool? Seeing this BT tower. Very cool. I love that view. Scenic. This view. Guys, I was saying that going to the gym for me is no longer type 2 fun. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly that <laughs> response. That I actually enjoy going to the gym now. Good. What did you eat for breakfast? Why do you have to be me? She just ate chicken salad with a second hand spoon, guys. It wasn't second hand. It was a second hand Probably spoon. Probably third or fourth. <laughs> Basically, didn't have a fork. There was a spoon there with a copy, like, kind of marking on it. And, and she forgot to wash it. <laughs> I'm going to go to the house. I'm going 
I've come to Suma with my mom. Sadly, she's already eaten. So she's going to be watching my life out with my husband. But I think I do like your cake. Yeah. <laughs> Jenga, you know when the Jenga falls in Christmas? That's the Jenga in the office. We didn't share. Did I think it was No. Bob's here, Kim, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the best. I did it for the mob ties. Feel like